And launch. June bug debris. That's something else I was messing with earlier. Ignore that. <laughs> Again, our intrepid, our, our, our experienced flight test crew. Okay, it's Tubius, Vilo, Elena. Do I see it? Let's see, that thing is in the way. Oh, I see what I did. I didn't... I should have paid more attention to make certain that that, that didn't break. Okay, so we've got these struts right here broke already. And the tail hit the ground. I should have been more certain to make certain that the tail had clearance so it wasn't going to hit the ground. Okay, and flight. And flight. Yeah, structural failure on those. Okay. Um, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, rethink this tail. But yeah, see that thing is poking back there by about a meter. Um, do I want to move the whole tail structure forward, or can I just move the horizontal stab forward? I think I can get away with just moving the horizontal stab. Yeah, move it about there. Let me see. Does that have clearance from the ground? Yes, it does. I can even move it back just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. Okay, let's fix these struts. Because that looks kind of stupid the way it's connected now. I want them to connect right up there. That looks much less stupid and much more cool. Alright, try and get a similar angle on these. Um, ooh, wait a second, that's going that's in the in the range of the the rocket exhaust. Maybe that's a bad idea, huh? Okay, okay. Alright, we'll do it this way. Acceptable. Yeah, it's not going to burn. Okay, now I'm thinking that very likely uh, these broke just because these things up here broke. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what happened. So I'm not going to do any changes there for now, not immediately. All right, save it. And here we go. Let's launch it. Grunt debris. Come on, come on. Load, load. And... Um... Okay, that stayed together. Those struts stayed together. It looks to me like everything stayed together. Okay, guys. Okay, why is it always nighttime whenever I'm testing these? It's like whenever I, I go in there and I, I mess around and I'm doing non-recording stuff and I'm playing the game, it's daylight. I should I should time that better. Okay, grab joystick. Control check. Yeah, that's working. That's working. There's SAS. Let's turn precision control on. Turn SAS on. Um, my, oops, hang on. Let's adjust this a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Okay, brand new vehicle. First test flight. Tubius, Velo, and Alina. You guys got some serious experience by now, so I've, I've got faith in you. This is going to work well for you. You, you. Whatever happens, I know you three can handle it. So, let's hit it. There's the mains. There's the solid. Turn the SAS off, see what happens. Yeah, I can see. Okay. Oop, oh, it's at pitching down. Okay, we've got kind of sluggish to control. Troll. Well, that's kind of scary. 
it's showing a slight tendency to wander, wander in yaw a little bit. Okay, no, it's it's feeling better now. It's feeling better now. It was yeah that is almost out of control those first seconds after launch, but now it's feeling starting to feel bit pretty good. And again, I bet you that's something that improve if once I go and I, I put a um, yeah something that, that'd be better once once I put put a, a a payload on it a heavy payload to smooth out some of these problems. Like it's okay. Let's turn RCS on at this point. Um, it is okay. Hang on, we're pitching. Okay, good. Yeah, we're starting to. It's not pitching forward. I'm pushing forward and it's not pitching forward. Is this not balanced? Let's observe. Okay, well, it should just be... You know what? I forgot to run the fuel lines for these things. I'm just using these two fuel tanks. That's interesting. I can pull the throttle all the way back, but the engines don't actually shut off. I forgot to run the fuel line. That's not going to use the upper and lower fuel tanks. Still going straight up with this inertia. Wow! 127! <laughs> okay, well, it's definitely got some oomph. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. Um, Alright, uh, guys, we're just going... Wow, I wish I could shut those off. What if I happens if I hit this way? Maybe I need to recalibrate a joystick or something. Okay, okay, guys, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna uh, <laughs> almost have kind of like a timeout for a few minutes while this thing goes way up in <laughs> outer space and comes screaming back down at like Mach 17 or something. <laughs> Definitely has enough lift. It's got enough if boost, enough thrust. <laughs> and it looks kind of cool. <laughs> this. Had some controllability issues. Pitching. Like it's not balanced. See, if I hold down... Oh, not even that. Yeah, I've got the, th the throttle all the way back, but it just doesn't... isn't... isn't liking it for whatever reason. Okay. Still, nothing on the vehicle broke... yet. That's a plus. Those really good ad collapses. And you're coming down on the water too, huh? I wonder, can I just thrust backwards with what little oomph I've got left? Okay, it's RCS. Um, come on, RCS. RCS does not appear to be having much of any effect at all. Well, slight effect, I guess. Come on. Okay, now we're starting to have a slight effect. That's good. Okay, where did my other mark here? Let's. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. Put my re-entry path closer to short on. That's all the thrust I'm at. I got. I'm out of thrust. Okay. Stop spinning. It helps if I push the right direction, huh? Come on. Uh, does SAS do anything for me? Not really. 
Okay. Come on. I just want the nose in the direction of travel for this re-entry. I want you to stop spinning. Stop tumbling. I'm totally out of RCS now. Um, Vilo happy. Tubius is upset. Elena feeling very neutral. Did we decide earlier that Vilo was the pilot? I think we did. Oops, I accidentally staged. I did not mean to do that. I hit the map button, which is right next to the space bar. I did not mean to... I accidentally staged. Now I'm not going to find out how this thing behaves in re-entry. Man, that was a dumb mistake. Oh well. And of course the module keeps the... Junebug keeps the handling characteristics of the vehicle it was very recently part of. So it's going to be extremely sluggish in pitch. Interesting that it, it is not sluggish in roll, though. Yeah, sluggish in pitch and yaw, but not in roll. I wish I had... Why did I do that? I did not mean to accidentally stage. Okay, let's go ahead and burn off that solid booster now. So I don't want to land with that thing full of fuel. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up now. Pull up some more. Pull up. I really need you to pull... What was that blowing up? Did pieces just come flying off of my vehicle? Pull up now. Come on. Pull... Oh, no, no, no. I'm Tubius Velo, Elena, Tubius... No, smiling. They're happy. Oh, Tubius figured it out that last second. <laughs> Guys, oh, that was my most experienced Kerbals. I wonder where the rest of the vehicle is. That was very, very sad. Maybe I shouldn't have lit that booster off. Maybe I should have pointed it a different direction or something. R.I.P. Tubius. Velo. Elena. Man, that was sad. Okay. <laughs> Um, wow. <laughs> All right, kind of mixed results here. The thing did not break. It did not fall apart, although I was having pitch issues, and I forgot to run the fuel lines like I needed to. So let's... You know, at the moment, actually, I'm going to... Yeah, let's put some thought into this. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to stop recording for now and then put some thinking about do I want to make any other changes and then I'll be back and we'll do some changes. Thank you watch for much watching. I'll be rep I'll talk to you later. Bye.